All right, ladies and gentlemen, woolly bees, we're going to be taking this standard, standard Langstroth hive out and putting it into one of these polystyrene six frame uh, nukes from Lyson. Purchased them from perfectbee.com. Anything over $75 is free shipping. Well, first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this hive and move it to my work cart back here out of sight and put the polystyrene hive in place. It's the 19th of September, so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this hive organized the way I want them going into winter. I want, this hive is facing southeast. All of my hives face southeast. So in the winter time, sun's gonna come up on this side. The west side of the box is going to be heated all day long and the sun will set back behind me which will be on the back side of the hive. So the way I put nukes and hives to bed, I put two frames of honey on the west side. That way during the day as the sun warms the hive, the hive can work this way because basically they'll only work kind of one way. If you put honey on both sides, they'll work one way and if they get stuck over here and run out of honey, they'll die. Same way if you put all of it on or put one on each side, you're gonna be you know, out of luck when it comes to them running out on that side if you get a couple of cold days and they can't move. So I want them moving to the west. So I'll put all the brood to the left, put all the frames of honey and nectar to the right. This one's a double. I'm gonna see if I can take it down to a single six or if I need to leave it in a double because I brought two extra frames. So let's move this hive and get started. Can't say I'm too big of a fan of the way the cart's leaning. We'll just do a side by side job. Five stands are level, but I use about a two inch rise. So I use basically a two before. Hopefully, we can get these girls down to a single box. Ain't no guarantees. All right, frame of pollen and nectar. giving these polystyrenes a try this winter. All in nectar and a little bit of brood. Sometimes you'll find if you have two hive bodies going in this late into the fall, you'll find your brood mostly up in the top box. Frame of pollen and hatched out brood. So this frame is basically a weed out frame if we weed out frames right now. Frame of brood, frame of open brood. And there's her queen, glorious little buck fast. So now we don't have to worry with looking. All we gotta do is just observe the frames, make our decisions, and move on. Another frame of brood.
hopefully. We'll be able to take this down to one box because that's the way I overwinter hives in one box with dried sugar and pollen mix on top. Notice these ladies are flying everywhere and not trying to sting. Alright, that's a frame of open nectar. Maybe not. We've got a frame of brood here. Might not be able to take them down because we got two frames of brood. Polished iron hives were $41.99. You can catch them on sale. I caught them on sale for $39 something. And I also bought an extra, another frame of brood, an extra box to go with them. The main thing is the R value of these, this high density polystyrene, has an R value of right at 10. This traditional wood Langstroth, an R value of 0.94, if I'm not mistaken. So what's that tell me? That tells me basically, in this hive, the heat comes right through in the, in the summer and the cold comes right through in the winter. Also, with this high-density polystyrene being a hive that has majority of, good, of a good, strong hive cluster, at R10, there's no heat loss compared to the wood, or no heat gain compared to the wood, so the bees will not have to cluster nowhere near as hard as they do during the winter in a wood box. That's a good thing. I guess we're going to have to add the box because they have this lovely latch system that latches the boxes together which is also another nice item. That way you don't have to worry about them blowing apart, blowing up, blowing away. Back here. Got a frame of pollen nectar. Oh, and brood. This queen's really going to town this late into the season. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I've got two frames of honey and pollen. Downstairs, I have two frames of honey and pollen. These are partial frames of honey and pollen. And this one has brood in it. We're going to do a, a year long study on this. We're going to try these out over winter. Because in a traditional Langstroth, bees heat the cluster, true, but it also heats the rest of the hive. As thermodynamics will show you, if you have a heat source here, as the heat source gets away from the cluster, it's still going to heat the box. In doing that, with this extra R value, they're not going to have to cluster as hard. They will not have to spend as much energy, i.e. honey, to heat because they don't have to cluster as hard more insulation and in summer we're going to find out because technically with that extra insulation in summer they shouldn't have to brew a beard as much because they can control the inside temperature of the hive better with the extra added insulation Alright, sorry guys, camera cut off, uh, 
what I was finished doing, I finished knocking the bees out of the box, scraping them out with my hand. Nobody got stung. Got one here on my arm. What I was saying is they come with the top. There's a propolis trap that you can put in. This top is actually hollow in here. You have the option of having vent holes. There's a little black. See if I can pull one out because I don't want to take the top off because I got a front entrance. A little black thing that slides in that shows a vent to vent the hive. When I go into winter, I'll pull these little black vents out and put the other two polystyrene plugs in. I know this hive had a top entrance and it's going to take a little while for them to reorient to the bottom. It'll happen. I've got to go get my other little clasp to put on here. But they come with these nice little latches. All you have to do is just sit here and keep screwing this down until you get it just right. And you can latch them together and you don't have to worry about them blowing apart, falling apart. Get another turn. Got to do, like I said, I got to get the little thing that goes on the end of this because I didn't pay attention to the lid I grabbed. But the R factor is the main reason. This is R10 versus 1 point or 0.94. I'm gonna do a whole year-long study because with these, the heat from the cluster hits the outside walls, hits the top wall. That humidity in the hive condenses, forms droplets, drops back down on your bees, and that in the Tennessee area is what kills your cluster. It's just that simple. With the R value of 10, you've got so much more. A hive, I've been listening to a couple of doctors and podcasts, and they're talking about the humidity in the hive is detrimental to the Varroa mite also. You think about a hollow tree, you've got three, six inches of wood to insulate, and you've got unlimited thermal mass above, not unlimited, but massive amount of thermal in, insulation above and below. In a tree, the entrance is at the bottom with maybe six to 12 inches for debris to collect. A gentleman named Phil Chandler, you can look him up on YouTube, Barefoot Beekeeper, does a couple of videos on eco floors. They do not have small hive beetles in England, so I don't think I would like to try that. But in a hive, all that humidity up above does, never, does not condensate and form droplets and drop down on the bees because of that thermal mass. Thus, the high-density polystyrene, the thermal mass. Thanks for watching the videos. Like them, subscribe, share them, please. Have a great day. I know I'm going to. I've got a couple more of these to do. Look forward to the next videos because I'll do one in the middle of the winter.